If you want to buy NFTs, I'll give you step-by-step -step guidance in this video, both for Ethereum-based NFTs and for Solana-based NFTs. First, is NFTs a temporary fluke? A fad? NFT is just a digital version of collectors' items, which have been around for millennia. Stone Age people collected things. Monkeys collect pretty rocks. So, no, this isn't going away, guys. A digital version on the internet of collectors' items is useful. NFT isn't a fad. So we've established that NFTs are here to stay. But make no doubt, the craze right now will crash. Art isn't a fad either. Art is universal too. Beauty is universal. One of my first experiences with blockchain just after discovering Bitcoin was actually a project where they built like a virtual reality world and you were supposed to own objects in that world, like really own them on the blockchain. I thought it was such a mind-blowing idea. But is NFT art? Let's be real guys, most people don't buy the NFT because they love the JPEG. They buy it because they want to sell it at a higher price and make money. But then there is another main element also. And what is that? You've seen a lot of people putting punks and bored apes on their profile picture on Twitter. People also buy them for status. And status only comes at the high end. And if you think about it for a second, the same is true for high-end watches or high-end handbags or high-end physical art. If you buy a copy of a Picasso painting that you and me, we can't tell them apart even seeing them side by side, high-end art isn't only about beauty. It's also about financials, and status. Same with NFTs. So as we start logging in on these platforms, please keep two things in mind. Number one, it's not really about the beauty of the JPEG. And number two, the most money-making potential in physical art as well as in NFTs is at the high end. Why? Because otherwise it isn't rare. Then it's just an ugly JPEG. We're in a blow-off top formation right now but there is still more demand than supply. Look here, this one sold out yesterday in three seconds, three seconds. But that also means that there are more projects added now, hour by hour, and there will come a point when there is more supply than there is demand. And then there is no stop loss, guys. You can end up with NFTs that no one wants to buy, a literal 100% drawdown. So make no mistake, this is riskier than buying the riskiest of altcoins. Don't gamble on NFTs with money you need. Really, just don't. Solana NFTs are hot. And guys, I gave you Solana in this video well before it pumped. I gave you Solana again in this video before the pump really started. I gave you fire trucks because it was so hot. So please do subscribe and bell if you haven't already. And please like this video. Then the YouTube algo might show you more videos like that. Now. Let's buy two NFTs, one on Ethereum and one on Solana. Ethereum first. If you haven't already, go to metamask.io and set up Metamask. It's straightforward, just download and click as instructed. But do save your recovery seed somewhere else, guys. OpenSea is the by far dominating platform for Ethereum-based NFTs. They have been around since 2017. Exclusive drops, trending, marketplace. You can sort them here. Let's sort by recently sold. Okay, some random NFTs here. Then here we can select specific collections. CryptoPunks are over four years old now. So behind the OpenSea overnight success and the CryptoPunks, there were four to five years of work. Let's see what they were recently sold for. 99, 100 ETH, 115, 111, 129, 124 ETH. If we go into the Board Ape Yacht Club, and click the collection. We can also see the floor price. And floor price is the lowest price for collection items updated on an hourly basis. So it's not all time, it's also not 24 hours. This is very important. Then if we go into here, stats ranking. We can change from last seven days to last 24 hours. And here we can see the top NFTs ranked by volume. The 24 hour volume right now is actually not CryptoPunks or Board Ape Yacht Club or even Mutant Apes, but another one. Loot for adventures. And I kid you not, at least as I understand it, this is it. You get, <laughs> you get the picture of this text. At least that's what it says here. Stats, images and other functionality are intentionally omitted for others to interpret. Feel free to use loot in any way you want. Maybe there's more to it. I don't know. I haven't checked. Board Ape Yacht Club sells $96 million of Mutant Apes NFTs in one hour. 
That was three days ago. And as I read, they took those $100 million worth of Ethereum and sent it straight to exchanges and sold it. And as someone wrote on Twitter, guys, if you didn't want them to sell $100 million worth of ETH, maybe you shouldn't have sent them $100 million worth of ETH. Food for thought. This is now Sotheby's Twitter account. Hello. Founded in 1744, Sotheby's is the oldest and largest internationally recognized firm of fine art auctioneers in the world. Let's look at the very top tier again, the CryptoPunks. They sell for around 100 Ether, even for the less rare ones. Let's check this one. There are websites that try to calculate rarity, here is one. So let's check this one. Rarity score 80. The most rare ones, 10,000, 2,000, 2,000, 1,000. So clearly it wasn't that great and still cost 100 ether. But what about real artists then? Well, we have Damien Hirst, United Kingdom's richest living artist. So he is good. And it's an interesting project. You buy the NFT, then if you want to keep the NFT, the physical piece of art gets burned. And if you want to keep the physical art, the NFT gets destroyed. And floor price now is 16 ETH. That's $40,000. But if you go on eBay right now, you can buy two pieces of Damien Hirst art for a little over $1,000 each. Is it 40 to 1 more valuable if there are 10,000 items of this one? Don't know. Not so sure. But what is sure is that if he sells these at these prices, he will pull in $40,000 times 10,000 items. That is $400 million. Wow. Real money. Real Ethereum market moving volumes. Personally, I feel that all of this is not the best risk reward. It's kind of late. I feel I'm being sold to by someone who got in early and I don't like it. Just not my style to be late. We'll come back later to what to actually do. Gun to my head and if I had to buy, what would I do? I would buy either a punk because they were first or Board Ape Yacht Club, because they have pulled in so much money now. They might spend so much money on marketing that they can keep generating both new sales and keep the value for old series, which would be very important to generate new sales, I think. Now I will demo a buy. I'm just taking something random here, definitely not an endorsement. I just like the JPEG. So then I connect the wallet here, select MetaMask. Okay, we connected that. Then I click buy now here. Now something very important. Let's check the gas fees on Ethereum. Okay, they're not so high here. I think US hasn't woken up yet, so that helps. All right, buy now. Let's see what happens by checking this box. Okay, all right. And we need to sign the transaction. Woo, you just purchased the Seagull. It should be confirmed on the blockchain shortly. Processing. Complete. Yes. Oh, owned by you. That's great. And now if we go into Etherscan, we can see here that there is a token transaction, token ID 1252, the birdhouse. And if you go to that contract, read contract, we can scroll down here to something called token URI. And if we enter 1252, our seagull, we get something out here, token URI. This is what actually describes the NFT. We copy this part, and we build the URL like this, using this great Morales service where you can read IPFS files. You see, we get the description of the NFT back. The ID, some traits, it's a seagull, it has a hat, eyewear, and this is the image. We can build the URL like that, and here is the image of our NFT. So we can verify on the blockchain that it looks like it should. On Solana, there are two platforms that are similar to OpenSea, Solana Art and Digital Eyes, with Solana Art being the leading one right now. A little disappointing maybe, the Soul Punks and the Digan Ape Academy seem like just copy pasta of uh, the Ethereum projects. Soul Punks are a Solana parody of their Ethereum 10,000 collectible characters. They don't look like a parody, they look exactly the same. With Solana, I recommend Phantom Wallet. Let's set it up. All right, we got it set up. And to fill it up, you can just withdraw from an exchange, for example, from Binance to that wallet address. A few quick tips. Make one wallet for each engagement. If you screw up, you limit the loss. On Solana, avoid the auto-approved transaction function in the wallet. And if you use it only on a separate wallet for that mint. There's a site for how rare and Solana NFT is called How Rare Is, winner of the domain name naming contest. Definitely use that to check how rare something is. And Solana arrived in the wallet. 
Then we go here, connect wallet, phantom, connect, yes. Actually, this website is so overloaded, so right now actually this doesn't work. But that's how you do it, then you go in whatever you want to buy, and you click the buy button here, same as on OpenSea on Ethereum. Digitalize, it worked, we could connect our wallet, and then we could go in here and look at all these amazing, amazing uh, NFTs. Here is some dude who has taken a photo of a bridge. I cannot buy now because the listing is not verified. Homepage link doesn't work. But here we could buy some abstract art here if we want it. But we could buy this one if we felt that we wanted to buy this for 53 sol. Then I will click buy now. But now I don't have enough sol balance to pay for the transaction. So that's pretty much how you buy an NFT on one of these main sites. But with all of this, you're still one step behind. What to really do is to try to get in at the start. If you do, the risk reward is so much better. Three seconds. If you get in, you're almost certain to be able to at least flip it for 2x because demand is higher than supply. Then you're the one selling on OpenSea for 2x, 10x or 100x gains instead of the one buying from that person. But then you need to get in on the specific project mint or auction. Solana has a third party service called Holaplex where people can create their own auction site in five minutes. But then it's on that project website. So to find these, to find the new mints, there is no easy way. These change by the hour now. You have to put in work. The founders of the project market it, but people who want to buy it themselves will probably keep quiet until after to not increase competition. So the only way to find the ones that will be hot tomorrow or later tonight is to scan the discords, scan the telegram rooms, the Twitter world and try to stumble over it. That means it's hard and hard is good. If it's easy, everyone can do it. That's how you can score big while maintaining good risk reward. Now you have the wallet set up. It's time to stop being lazy, roll up your sleeves and get to work. It might pay a lot better than whatever else you were planning to do today. I'm already making more videos on NFTs, so do make sure you're subscribed. Thank you, Tak. See you all out. Hello.